Personally, the masterclass allowed me to take one or actually a few step backs and better understand what are the best practices uh, out there when it comes to managing alliances. And, and the good thing is that it's really along the entire life cycle. Uh, indeed, um, the fact that it's not just uh, about selecting or building alliances, uh, which can be the case uh, in, in some other classes, but it's really about how as well, how to best execute and manage those alliances on a on a day to day basis. Um, the real life example um, uh, through, uh, that we learned through Anup and, and Peter, but also from the other participants is, um, is very eye-opening. And it's actually what strikes me the, the most is uh, uh, how we share the same challenges. Obviously, we, we all, as Alliance uh, professionals, we share the, the same challenges. Some went through them already, some are experiencing them right now. So it's really good to understand how uh, and what is the best practices to actually manage and prevent those changes to, to happen and in order to best uh, manage the, 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 the alliances we are managing on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, an example of that um, is uh, how uh, to enhance cross-functional uh, collaboration or what is the best way to, to leverage uh, executive sponsors um, or um, what are the best tools we can use to, or the, what are the most important criteria to look at when we perform uh, health checks, um, alliance health checks. Um, in our cases, we joined uh, as an international SOS um, group of partners, partnership professionals. And we actually looked at very different types of par partnerships. And I must say that uh, recognizing that every partnership is different, uh, the masterclass uh, allowed everyone to relate and to understand the tools, the real ex life examples, as I was saying, and also the, the great scenario based activities that an open Peter prepared. Um, it allowed us to, to, and that was really our aim. So it really allowed us to acquire common understanding um, and, and a common framework to all this uh, group uh, when it comes to partnership and alliance management. Um, and will definitely help us, already helped us actually, to bring our partnership and alliance management uh, to another level. Um, on the on, on, on the investment part, uh, there is no doubt that this was what the, the investment uh, and, and even more, uh, if we take into account the comeback hours as well, um, that we we had with an open Peter already, those are very valuable to continue the discussion. And that's really what I enjoy uh, from this approach. It's, it, it's really a multi-way discussion uh, where the, the best practices and the experience of an open Peter comes into play. Um, I think what was really useful as well is that we had a different session. It's not just in one go. Uh, we had uh, three different sessions and uh, with a week in between each of the sessions, which, which really uh, allowed us to directly apply and relate to, uh, to the learnings of the previous session in our day-to-day -day, uh, life uh, when managing alliances.